Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hands. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forebear fathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. And now come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I call for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me and built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your goodness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I call for help, you answered me. Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. 
the gospel of the Lord. I suppose if there was a theme to our readings over these last number of days since Lent began, it was focusing on those three traditional disciplines of Lent, of prayer and fasting and almsgiving, and today, as well as the other day, a couple days ago with the Our Father, obviously it's on prayer, very powerful and touching prayer in our first reading. We call the story of Esther in the Old Testament, and she was living in exile in what was Persia, or what would be today modern Iran, I guess. And uh, the king had chosen her to be in, her, in his court as, and serve as queen, the pagan king. But one of the king's advisors who hated these Jewish people wanted to destroy them, and so he brought about a plot to exterminate them. Esther's family came to her pleading that she needs to go to the king and speak on their behalf unless they be wiped out. And the, Esther cannot go to the king unless the king summons her. Otherwise, she would be also executed as well, which was his rule. So it put her in an awful dilemma. She's being asked to intercede by going to the king and Yet she's afraid for her own life because she knows if she takes that chance or risk that it could be her life instead. And this is where the context of today's beautiful prayer is. She's opening her heart to God. She's feeling alone and she's not sure what to do. And so she's begging him to show her the way. Of course, we know the story has a a good ending, the king does summon her. She doesn't have to go on her own, and she reveals to him the plot that was hatched by this, this advisor of the king, and her people are saved. Ultimately, I guess that's what all prayer is really about. It's about our salvation, whether that be prayer of adoration, prayer of contrition, prayer of thanksgiving, or as in today's reading, and perhaps the more common way that we pray often is we are petitioning or asking God to help us. And Jesus in our gospel today is reminding us that we should never hesitate to ask and to seek and to knock. And if you read it in the Greek, it's keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking, not in the sense that we should assault heaven with a bombasting of many words, but rather our prayer life, our petitioning should be part of the daily fabric of our life. We look at the Lord's Prayer, that most perfect prayer we heard a couple of days ago, and they are all petitions, give us. And as I said the other night, it's we are told to do it boldly with trust, with God who wants to provide for us. Of course, he will, he will answer all prayers, but only in what is for our best interest in our walk of salvation. So probably praying to win the lottery was not going to go too far with God in heaven because for most people who win the lottery, it's probably more to their undoing than it is to their salvation. But sometimes when we are, our prayers seem unanswered, when we pray so hard, perhaps a loved one who is sick and then does not recover, we might say our, our prayer was not answered. But we have to try to trust and we have to try to see it the way God sees it. And sometimes, even though something terrible like that happens, a lot of good can be drawn from it, as well as bringing ourselves to a greater holiness, and we need to cooperate with that grace that God gives us. And so, during this Lent, we are invited to pray more, not in quantity, but rather in quality, 
to spend more time at the feet of our Savior, opening our hearts to him like Queen Esther in our first reading, whether we're sorrowful or filled with joy or, or just sort of in that plateau that most of the time we're in, and sometimes that's the hardest time to pray is not when we're at the low point and really pleading God to help us or maybe at that high point when we're filled with his joy and love, but the most of the time of our lives is the plateau in which everything is just routine in our life. And maybe that's when it's hardest to pray. And that's when we should be praying even more earnestly. So as we continue our walk through this Lent, let us continue to live virtuous lives, lives that are filled with fasting, almsgiving, and certainly prayer. God wants us to lift our hearts up to him for what we need to pray with faith and trust for how God might guide our lives and so we bring our prayers to him. For all within the church who live in places dedicated to a life of prayer, that their witness will help all of us to seek God with more commitment to a daily practice of prayer, let us pray. For our legislators, that they will see the grief and harm caused by gun violence and form new laws that would limit the availability of guns and ammunition in our society, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For anyone in our parish who feels desperate or without hope, that God might bring them to our attention and we might reach out to them with acts of caring and consistent prayer, let us pray. For each one of us, that this season of Lent will indeed be a time of renewal and prayer, let us pray. And for those dear to us who have died, especially in this Mass, we remember the repose of the soul of James and Kathleen Markovsky. And we also remember the priest of our diocese who died on this day, Father John J. Sprangers in 1962 and Father Ralph H. Hermson in 1993, that they may experience the full presence of God in their new life in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Amen. Almighty Father, you know our hearts through and through. Receive our prayers given to you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 